You guys have can scoot up a little bit. All right, well, welcome everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Johnny Garcia. I'm the CEO and president of the Stanislaus Latino Chamber of Commerce. We welcome you. We're honored and uh, humbled to be here to be part of this uh, great occasion today. Oh, someone put music on. Is that my, my walk? Walk up music on. That's your walk music. <laughs> um, so anyways, going back, we're humbled and we're honored to be here to be part of this uh, great occasion. Uh, Monica being one of our own, our vice president of our of our chamber. So we're excited. We've been looking forward to this day for a long time. Um, we thank you guys for coming out and joining. And then I'm going to hand it over to my partner. Sure. Hi, I'm Trish Christensen. I'm president and CEO of the Modesto Chamber of Commerce. Yay. Yay. It is a pleasure and an honor to be here with all of you, and I'm just going to call out how impressed I am with the community support and energy in the room. You guys were here at three, so clearly this matters to everyone. So round of applause for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. For those that don't know a whole lot about Digital Nest, I'm going to share just a couple of things that I was digging around today and I thought, you know, it's worthy of stating as a mindset, not just in community, but of the organization. Um, Digital Nest Cares creates sustainable and scalable technology learning centers for Latinx youth in order to foster economic equality. Is that not what we're all about here day in and day out? Which is why the chambers are so proud to be a part of this. And when it comes to Monica being here as a leader, she is absolutely the appropriate person with the stewardship and heart that she's going to bring here in our community to elevate the work of the organization. This, the youth in our community is in really good hands with you. So, so I, know we kind of, I know we kind of jumped on Monica, but we're going to Thank you to the CEO who's to have the honor of introducing Monica. So sorry, Jacob. She deserves <laughs> most of <laughs> 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 Yeah, well, I want to thank the both chambers for organizing today. Uh, and like they said, most importantly, thank all of you. The fact that you're here shows that community is important to you. It shows that our young people are important to you. So I want to thank you all, because if, if those two things were not important to you, you would not be here. And so your presence here means a lot to us today. And I know there's tons of other people out there that believe the same, but weren't able to make it today. So we're excited to host them over the time and, and show them what, all the great work we're doing here. Um, this start off with a conversation. My colleague Joe and I uh, met with Marion at the Community Foundation and said, do you want to learn more? And right after that meeting, uh, it, we were pretty set that Modesto was going to happen. Um, and I believe she was and her colleagues, uh, especially Amanda, the two of them were very passionate about making this happen um, and making Modesto uh, Digital Nest number four. Um, and so it, it, it happened. Here we are. Um, this is the, the fourth nest. It started off in Watsonville back in 2014, um, expanded to Salinas. Uh, we're in Gilroy, and now this is the first time we're kind of venturing away from the Monterey Bay Central Coast region. Um, so we're really excited, and, and as you heard, we had the best person up here to kind of lead the effort here. Um, so let's we'll thank them, uh, the foundation. And we beat off Stockton, right? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, this doesn't leave the room. <laughs> Stockton was supposed to be number four, but Modesto passed them up. So, uh, Stockton's number five. It'll, we're looking at May of next year to open up in Stockton. Um, so, congrats, Modesto. Be Stockton. Um, uh, so, other people that we really want to thank uh, Norm Porges and his family, Dave Olson and his family. Uh, they believed in this from day one. They were at one of the early meetings with us. Well, we share this vision of what this could be in all of our work, um, and they and they jumped right in with us. And so they've been supporters. They've made multi-year commitments to the to the nest. Um, so we want to thank both of them. We want to invite all of you to be supporters of the nest and join them and and others. Um, we also want to thank the city of Modesto. The city stepped up. The city said, uh, "We need we need them." 
City of Modesto really stepped up, helped us out. Uh, they've committed resources. Um, they've committed energy and, and passion to this project as well. So we're, th we're thankful to them. Um, I've heard a lot of people kind of congratulate me on the nest and for having the fourth nest here. Um, and yes, the space is amazing. And, and, and the computers and the technology and, and, and everything that we have here. But really what's the most important thing we have here is the young people and the youth. Um, and so we have a few of them here today uh, uh, that some of our, our founding members of Digital Nest Modesto. Um, but I really want to invite you back uh, because when this is our official grand opening, when youth are in this space, I want you to come back and feel the energy, feel the work. These are, these are young people that don't have to be here. They're not mandated to be here. They're making a choice. They're making a choice for themselves. They're making a choice for their families and their community that they believe that they can make a better community and a better future for themselves. So I want to invite you all back. I'm hoping this is not your first and last visit. I'm hoping this is your first of many, many visits. Come back, meet our young people, um, uh, meet our staff. Uh, speaking of staff, we have a lot of staff here from all of our different centers that came up to support. Uh, staff, raise your hand. There's a lot of staff here. We have one of our board members, Mark Dean, here. So, Mark Dean was one of our original members back in 2014, uh, and now he's in tech and thriving and, and changing lives himself. He's, the company he works at, uh, they've recruited three other Nest members now, so there's four people at the company he's at. Um, and so that's what's possible, is getting one person in the door and then opening up the door, the, the, the door for others. Um, so thank you uh, to them. Uh, families that have come to support, thank you to our families, because we can't do this without support from our families. Um, I think that's all I'm missing besides, as you all heard, the amazing Monica. Um, <laughs> I, I think literally five of you in the last half hour told me, you got the right person, you got the right person. And so uh, we do have the right person leading this, the center, and she's got an amazing team as well that she's built. Let's see Gabriella and Ethan raise their hand. <laughs> Let's, uh, I'm going to hand it over to Monica. Thank you for coming, and please uh, reach out to me. All the computers there have our website. You can sign up for our newsletter, hear about all of our great work, and uh, look forward to meeting you all uh, in the future when you're back to CRG. With that, Monica. Oh my gosh, you guys. Thank you for showing up. Like Jacob said, this is for the community. This is really for, for all of our youth, for our future, for our, just our future leaders here that are really needing a space, a transformational space that can help them navigate through their career. You know, how many of us knew where we were going in our career path? And, you know, something like this was something that I could have only envisioned to have when I was a kid um, and to help me through my career path. And so, just being here, I am very honored and humbled to really just carry through Jacob's vision um, and to have it come to fruition here for Modesto. And I'm just, you know, it, my heart is so warmed up just seeing all of you guys here and supporting what we're going to have to offer here for our youth. So um, we're going to be doing a lot of career navigation, career exploration. They're going to be a part of an exciting club here to learn and explore just about themselves, to learn confidence, to be able to tell their story, to own their story, right? And alongside that, that's gonna help them through whatever career path that they're gonna take. And yes, of course, tech, right? <laughs> tech is something that is gonna be in everything in this world, right? And now that we're in a digital world, and so being able to limit the barriers or minimize the barriers for our future youth, um, to just be able to tap into their potential. And this is what that space is about, is really tapping into their potential and broadening their horizons. And along with that, it's really just a space for them to feel safe, a safe space, a place where they can connect with other like-minded youth, and a space where they can just be themselves and also have some fun, have some 
snacks. Yeah, because we'll, we'll, we'll bring them in. We'll just tell them there's food here. <laughs> Hot Cheetos. Um, balance of nutritional food as well. But we know that that's fuel for their minds. So, and like Jacob mentioned, it's really a space where they can just come in and do their homework and just feel like they can thrive. And for us to just really help coach them through that process. We have a lot of amazing programs where, again, it's for career exploration, um, self-awareness, things that the, it's going to help them regardless of whatever career path that they're going to take. And But we're here to help support and also bring representation, a Latino representation in the tech industry is really important. And just, you know, minority representation overall in the tech industry. Uh, we are... A, a, We all bring what I I'll, I'll throw in my my Colombian flair. You know, we all bring our own sazon to the to to the world. So um, definitely, you guys, please enjoy. Thank you again for coming and supporting the nest. And please don't let this be the last time you guys come here. This is an open door for the community and for you guys to also. I see a lot of leaders in the room, and I would love to see some of you mentor some of our youth. So if that's something that speaks to your heart and is aligned with your mission and purpose, I would love to have you guys come alongside the work that we're going to be doing here. So thank you and um, have fun. And if you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out to me. And I'm just excited to launch the center for our community. I do, we did introduce um, the staff, so Manesto staff, myself, the center director, and we have Gabriela who is our member specialist. She's going to be doing outreach. She might be reaching out or has already reached out to some of you to connect and, and do some tabling, share some information and bring awareness um, about Digital Nest. And then we have Ethan who is our front facing person who will be at the front desk supporting our members here at the, at the center. And before I close out, I also want to introduce oh, our member number one, who is Jesus. He came and alongside our summer program. Um, you know, we had an amazing program and turnout with youth uh, in learning how to code. It was a beginner's coding class, and it was from the ages of 13 to 18. And Jesus actually stepped up from a, an event that we had here, and he became our instructor. And he's uh, a young instructor really up and coming in his career as well, so. And there's a couple of people that were very cr critical in this whole thing that were a little bit behind the scenes and helping us launch this thing. Yes. And that's the debrief team. What's that? Yeah. Nancy? Yes. Before we had Monica on staff, they were working with us, with us in the community, talking with folks, connecting, sharing our story, tabling, helping us find locations. What else? You did all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Delivering food for events. They all got, they did everything. So one of the really big, this wouldn't have happened without the, the leadership of those two and the rest of the debrief team. So thank you all. All right, so now we're gonna do certificate time. So we are gonna start with Gavin, so Congressman John Dorfe's office. What a turnout this is. This is often to see, uh, like there was said, so many leaders in the community. And so it's an honor to be here today to celebrate this special day with you all. And on behalf of Congressman John DeHorte, United States Congress, congratulations. We wish you the best of continued success. And thank you for choosing the city of Modesto here in San Jose County. An honor. So congratulations, and we wish you guys all the best. Great. Joe, get over here, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Our director of operations, and he's the one that's been the guiding light here for me to really launch this place. And 
So I, I wouldn't have been able to do this without his leadership. So thank you, John. Got the right person, the right person. <laughs> Okay, let's make some noise in this place. Yeah. You know, the wonderful thing about Digital Nest, the key word to my, in my mind is nest. They don't have to stay, they just need to grow while they're here, and then they move on to bigger and better things, and create other nests for other communities of friendships. So this is a wonderful, absolutely incredible thing that they're doing here, Digital Nest. Thank you so much, Jacob, for making this happen. Even though we're the third or fourth, you know, and that's fine. You know, but, but this is going to be the best of all of them. Because this is the best person in So give it up to somebody who is And, you know, it must be special today for Monica because her husband came and hang out. Hey, hey. Bought her a Tesla and he's here today. So <laughs> you, can't, you can't go wrong with that. But uh, the mayor couldn't make it today and she wished she could be here, as well as Eric Alvarez, who, who resides in this district. He gives his regards that you know he knows that this is in the right hands with the right person and it's the right thing to do for our young people in our community because our community is important. I like what uh, John F. Kennedy said. He says, our young people are our greatest resources. And without our young people, we wouldn't have what we are going to have because we're going to need somebody to push us in a wheelchair down the road. <laughs> and we're going to need them to be able to do so. But on a behalf of the city of Modesto, Jeremiah Williams, District 5, Modesto City Council, would like to congratulate you all. And I'll read this real briefly. On behalf of the city of Modesto, I congratulate you on the opening of your business and ribbon cutting ceremony. Welcome to our community. I wish you the best in your future business endeavor. And that goes for all of you, the staff. And this young man right here, he's not just a staff, he was making corn. I was making corn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he wasn't playing around. Then you heard his name and said, they called me. <laughs> Other duties as a sign. <laughs> but thank you again. And, and we were really, really happy to have given you all some money. And it wasn't just chump change, but it's in, we're investing in our in our community as well through the young people and through all of your efforts. So thank you so much, and you get a hug. Everybody, come get a hug. All you and the corn guy. Oh, we all wear all the hats. All right, here we go. Photo op. Denzel Washington, here we go. <laughs> All right, congratulations. All right, so next before we do our certificates, did we miss anybody that walked in with certificates? I know. Any, anyone else? All right, so we're gonna have Trish, she's gonna present hers, but I also wanna say thank you to Rachel Hernandez, which is the Vice Mayor of 
Riverbank, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. in the back right there. 